In the week before the November election, a group of District 4 residents gathered for a rally. They were there to fight back against mailers sent out attacking Monica Montgomery. Monica is the candidate for us. So I am just imploring everybody, reach out to somebody you know. That was when I said, wow, this is, you know, we, we really have a chance because it was such a positive reaction uh, for our campaign from such negative ads that that was really a turning point for us. Montgomery was in a tough battle to unseat an incumbent, her former boss, Myrtle Cole. She said that rally made her start to believe she could win. It showed that I'm definitely the candidate, but the campaign wasn't just about the candidate. You know, it was about everyone who stood there and everyone who spoke um, and their voices were heard. And so, yeah, it was just the part of the magic of, of the campaign. The message of her campaign was that she was the voice of her community. When she won handily, it seemed to affirm that message, that she's there to listen to the people she represents. Now, a few months into her term, Montgomery is spending a lot of time doing just that. Our parks are not being taken care of. Um, as well as other districts. One evening a few weeks ago, Montgomery was at the Paradise Hills Recreation Council meeting listening to residents' concerns about parks, cleaning up trash, and why people should make appointments to see her during her office hours. The reason why I did it this way is because I understand that sometimes people come to the district office and either a council member is not there or they end up waiting in lobbies for two to three hours. Cole, the former council member, was criticized for not spending enough time in her district. In fact, a KPBS analysis of which council members spent the most time in their districts on evenings and weekends found Cole was at the bottom of the list. In her first month in office, Montgomery had more than 20 district events, either on weekends or visiting neighborhood council meetings, which would put her at the top of the list. Of course, that may be new council member enthusiasm. The test will be if she's still in the district in a year or two. And being visible in the district is just one of the expectations Montgomery has to meet. Residents have put a lot of hope in her that she'll make big changes, bringing more jobs, improving relations with police, building streetlights, and cleaning up trash. I wouldn't call that pressure. Um, there is an expectation out there. We, um, because I had worked at City Hall before running, um, I was I always tried to be very clear in that the one thing that I can um, promise is that you will see me, that I will be visible, that I will show up, and that everything that you will tell me will bring it back to the office and we will communicate. You know, some things we're going to be able to do very quickly. Some things will take years. Some things we may not be able to do. Um, and we've consistently communicated that. She has three big areas she's focusing on first. Improving relations with police by reviewing use of force and racial profiling in the police department and doing things like creating incentives for police to live in neighborhoods where they work. Second, building economic opportunity by ensuring city contractors have diverse hiring practices and hire locally. And third, constituent services, meaning getting streets paved, picking up trash, and building streetlights. Montgomery says she thinks having a brand new district staff will speed these goals along. She made the commitment during the campaign to clean house, getting rid of all of Cole's former staff. And she's mostly done that. Only one staffer worked for Cole in the past, and many haven't worked for the city before. I wanted to start off new and fresh, looking at uh, city services with a new eye, and, you know, differently. We have some experience in the city. We have some uh, staff members that are bringing their experience from outside to the city, and it's about half and half. Montgomery has tackled the first 100 days in office and knows she has high expectations to meet. But she's confident she's the right person to be her district's voice. She says that's her only focus for hopefully the next eight years. It really is um, really a shame that um, a certain sector of our city has been treated this way for so long. And so uh, we're, I, I am 
completely dedicated to that right now and I don't even want to um, put my energy or focus elsewhere right now because it just it just will not be helpful for why people voted. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.